being different is a term that is thrown around quite a lot and it doesn't just mean just one thing. I think that's the whole point. Being different is uh, different for everybody, you know, and I want to just talk a little bit about my journey with with that because I think there's a lot of stigma still about it. We do live in a great time where there's a lot more that's being accepted now. Um, but there's also a great counter for that still. And I don't know if that's just a, a human nature thing to be that way, but uh, I am happy that we are gearing ourselves into the right direction and becoming more accepting of each other's differences, if you will. Uh, so for me, as a kid growing up uh, in my adolescence, uh, you know, it was everything from alternative music to wearing makeup to I even wore PVC from time to time. And it's what I felt comfortable with. I liked losing myself in those worlds and those alternate things that not a lot of other people clicked with. Uh, it was difficult to make deep connections with uh, the mass because of that, you know, everybody was uh, trying to follow some kind of trend. And I, and I guess to a degree, I did have a kind of trend, but it was just an alternative one. But it wasn't the one which was in, you know, popular circles at the time. So um, I decided that I was going to embrace this and to express this through music and art. Uh, I did art at school and music and drama as well as a great way of expressing myself. Uh, it was difficult to keep up with social norms, expectations of uh, trying to do something too academic or whatever. And that's just my story. But for somebody else, it could be completely different. And my point being that whatever it is, whoever you are, don't be afraid to embrace that and to express it at your own discretion, you know, when you're ready to, if you want to. And that's a big thing for me. Uh, I have a song called The Saws and Me, which I have to explain quite a lot because I didn't, I've mentioned in previous videos that I'm not a great conversationalist usually. I'm not one to sort of be able to, I don't know, function on the same level as a lot of other people do, especially when it comes to things like small talk and routine. You know, I'm not a creature of habit. So if I had something up when I was uh, younger, then I got really, really anxious. I got terrible anxiety when people would ask me about it and when people were trying to help. And I know that they meant well, but at the same time, it's just not me to indulge or to open that up publicly. And that's a real big thing for me because I have always struggled and I always felt uh, very vulnerable in situations where I've had to talk about things openly with anybody and it takes a lot of time for me to gain trust with anybody. And that's just that's just me and that's actually something quite difficult to live with because it's, I feel at times it's quite abnormal. So the song was really a way of kind of expressing like, you know, I know you mean well and not in a, not in a horrible way, but please just let me withdraw. There were times at school, college, university, when I would have to take three days at a time out, you know, just away from everything. I would try and keep away from my phone. I would try to not be contacted and just to indulge in just the things that I wanted to because maybe I didn't get that opportunity too much, you know, amongst friends or with people. Maybe I was just burnt out from all the expectations, exams and doing gigs and whatever and being generally quite active. So... I felt that in order to just escape that was to just go away for three days. And I had people messaging me sometimes saying, hey, look, I'm really worried. Where, where the hell have you been? And I was just like, don't worry about it. I'm back now. It's cool. And everything like that. And I've got a bit better with that over time. You know, now I kind of give people a heads up. So like, look, I'm going to disappear for a little while. Um, I call it a meditative uh, 24 hours, 48 hours or whatever when I'm doing it. Um, but... Uh, I feel that they're two very, very similar things, those, you know, if you've got a withdrawal uh, from, from things, uh, a lot of meditation practices, uh, especially retreats, do invite you to spend a long period of time doing that. It's a great way to reset yourself and to uh, come back and to bounce back. And I feel that's just good for my own mental health. But uh, but yeah, like I say, whether it's whether it's uh, sexuality or interests in uh, various things, which, you know, other people might seem, you know, feel that it's geeky or, or, or not cool or anything like that. Don't worry about it. If you want to embrace that, embrace that and find like-minded individuals, you know, uh, don't feel pressured into doing 
or being somebody who you're not. Okay, so just a few words about that. Uh, thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.